Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Eddie from Never Half Throttle. Thanks so much for checking in. And today I have a product from TPR Industry. It's called the Remote Oil Fill Kit. And it's for the Polaris Razor Pro R. So, stay tuned to see what this is about. So before we jump into this review, just want you to know, I bought this product with my own money. Um, TPR Industries does not sponsor me, nor Never Have Throttle. With that being said, here at Never Have Throttle, we are all about testing out the product and making sure it's high quality before we give it a review or even bring that review to you. So TPR Industries put out a remote oil fill kit. What is this kit and who is it for? Number one is for people who own a Polaris uh, Razor Pro R. And second, the kit makes it easy to change your oil or even top off your oil without the need of removing your bed cover. As you can see here, it's four bolts to remove my bed cover. But in addition, I have a storage box, which also takes four bolts. This is the reason why I purchased this, to make it easier for me to change my oil, right? Because it can take me five to 10 minutes to remove all of this, right? Another thing I like about this remote oil fill kit is that there's no modifications needed, right? No drilling, no putting holes nowhere, it's strictly plug and play, so to speak. So let's talk about what's in the box. Let's start off by going to the TPR Industries webpage. And as you can see, the remote oil fill kit for the Pro-R comes in four different parts. The first part is the funnel, as you can see at the top here. And as I'll show you in a minute, this funnel could be broken down into three different parts. Then you have the hose, right? And this hose, what I like about it is you have the heat sleeving on it, right? And that heat sleeving helps insulate the hose from the heat. Then you have the replacement oil fill. It's the oil fill and oil fill cap, right? And then you have the breather cap, which is gonna replace the current stock oil fill cap on the Pro-R. So before we jump into the installation, let me show you what these parts look like. Again, as I mentioned before, the funnel, you can break it down into three different parts, right? And what I like about that is, it makes it easy to clean once you finish using it. As you can see, it's just a screw on here, all right? Then you grab the angle tip and I can just screw that on, all right? And it makes it very easy to use because here's the new uh, oil fill right here. And all you do is just stick this in here and you can just rotate it around. And I like it because it got like a little rubber coating on here. It makes it easy to rotate, but it sticks at the same time. It just won't like just fall out. Then you have the hose, right? Again, this hose, has a nice heat sleeving. It's made very well. I mean, I'm really impressed on how this uh, product is made. And the end tips are built in aluminum as well. And then here you have the new breather cap, which will replace the stock uh, oil cap. So let's jump into the installation. So let's get started. As you can see, I removed my bed cover and I also removed my storage box. The next step is to remove the breather cap, the stock breather cap, and replace it with the one in the kit. As you can see, this is the oil fill cap or the breather cap, and I already replaced it with the one in the kit. This is really easy. You just line the tabs up and twist it. The next step in the process is to remove this 13 millimeter bolt here. This is a stock bolt. Go ahead and there's a nut on the underside here that you need to remove as well, all right? Take that, put that together. And in the kit, it comes with a new 13 millimeter bolt, all right? It's a stainless steel bolt. And that bolt is used to hold down the new oil filler. So let's put this on. Real easy to install, very easy. And right, I'm not gonna tighten that up yet until I put on the hose. And the last and final step is you take the hose, 
As you can see, the hose has screwable ends here. One end you screw it onto the breather cap, and the other end you screw it onto the new oil filler. All right, so what you do is you take this, tuck it under the frame, all right, and it fits nice. It's not rubbing, or I don't have to put any force on it to bend it up. And I screw those ends in, and you can just see how easy this install it is. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to put all this together and show you what it looked like. So here's what it looked like fully assembled. Man, I really like this. Nice and tight, real easy to install. See, I just put the hose on here, got these ends tightened up. Um, take it to the outside here. Put the new bolt on. And here's my new oil fill. Let me put the storage box back on and the bed cover, show you what it looked like. Stand by. As you can see, here's my new oil fill, all right? And I like, it's not sticking out and it doesn't look all crazy. You know, it's actually behind this light, so it's not like it's sticking way out. So, take this oil fill off. Here's the funnel, okay? Fill my oil. Really like it. Stay tuned for my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts, definitely think this is very useful, especially for people like myself who have a storage box. You know, I see some of you on the trail have a Milwaukee pack out box, or you might have a, you know, some other name brand storage box. And it can be, you know, tough to take that off, you know, especially if it's bolted down. So this is definitely for the people who have bolted down storage boxes, like myself. Um, Great product, easy to install, and again, there's no modification needed. Thanks again. This is Eddie from Never Have Throttle. You know, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button so we can bring you more videos like this so you can make an informed decision before you make a purchase. Thank you. See you guys on the trail.